Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number two of my Builder Nation series here on Football Manager 2020, where I am managing not just Mumbai City FC, because that would not be a big enough challenge. No, no, no. What we've also got is we're managing the Indian national team. And we're trying to make both of them the best in the world. Mahoosive challenge. Uh, hopefully we can achieve it before FM21 comes out. And if you're in looking forward to the series and if you like the idea of the series, please pop a thumbs up down below. Every thumbs up really does help the channel out with the YouTube algorithm. Tells YouTube, oi, mate, you should be checking this out. Show people this series. It's really good. So if you could do that, that would be very much appreciated. And yep, first game today is against Mohan Bagan. We've got that. I'm going to show you the transfers that we've been doing as well. Because we have had quite the overhaul of the squad. Let's go into that now. And you can see we have been very, very busy. First things first, I'm going to show you the players that I've got rid of and the players that I have obviously brought in. And the first one I got rid of was Anwar Ali. He's a 34-year-old centre-back. From what I remember, he was on quite decent money. He's on 550 quid a week where he is now. And yeah, he did not look all that special. If you ask me, 34 years old, like I say, he can't run anymore, he's got no pace, his jumping reach is okay, but yeah, I didn't think he was going to be good enough to stay for us. As you can see there, one star current, one star potential, not ideal. So we moved him on, most of these are on freebies, by the way. The ones that have got monies, you can see here, Saul Avdaz, Alan Dioroy, and all the ones down here, Kumar, Valpua. Sahindra Singh and Modu Sogu, uh, they're all the ones that we've got money for, but as far as ones that we got rid of on a free, Sanju Pradhan has followed Anwar Ali to Minerva Pujab, and he's a 29 year old, not even got any stars, that's how awful he is, he's not even worth any silver stars apparently according to this screen, so yeah we got rid of him, how much money is he on there, 425 quid a week, absolutely stealing a living and then after that we got rid of Milan Singh a defensive midfielder 27 years old but again marking tackling he's a ball winning midfielder but he is awful two for finishing five for first touch uh, passing seven okay for this level but still quite bad so we've got rid of him and next up out of the club was Senaj Singh. He has gone to Kolkata. He's a 26-year-old midfielder, defensive midfielder. He's decent marking, awful passing, okay tackling. He had okay physicals, but other than that, not really that special. So I was happy to get him off the books. And what you will notice is that most, if not all the players I've got rid of so far, are Indian. So that's caused a little bit of a problem with squad registration. And so next one out is Sawav Daz. He's a 23-year-old. Again, another midfielder. He can play pretty much anywhere in the middle. But he's not really a specialist anywhere. And you can see my scouts now only give him a 17 rating. So had to get rid of him. He's on 525 over there. And so that is 525. We're not having to pay. And next up was Alan Dioroy. He's gone to Azari FC. He's a 23-year-old striker, but look at them attributes. Call yourself a striker and you've only got three for finishing. Ah, ah, ah. You are not going to survive for long in any club of bad jokes. So he has gone. Ravi Kumar has gone to Lahong. He's a goalkeeper. One star current and potential ability. And yet, dreadful, absolutely shocking keeper. So I'm very happy that he has gone. And then next up is Valpua. How we got 9k, sorry, and 5k for them two, I'm not quite sure. And then Valpua, we got 10k for. 
again yet another Indian we have got rid of one star current one half star potential ability doesn't really look like he's ever gonna be anything so I thought we'd try and get some money for him and thankfully we have and yeah he has left a football club he is on 300 quid a week so not the most amount of money but still it's got the wage bill down for us and then last two out of the club Sahindra Singh again another one who's gone to Azari FC he is a 25 year old again another central midfielder only an 8 rating from the scouts Jesus if you've ever seen any lower rating from a scout please do let me know because I don't think I have wowzers and then last one out is Modu Sogu. We got the most amount of money for him, £17,500. And he's got very good physicals for this level. And he is a very good player. But at, at four star. But other than that, he was on a lot of money. He's old. And I've brought in a couple different players who I think can do a little bit better than him. It is now saying his value is 180k. It was not saying that when we had him. So maybe we've been robbed a little bit there. Only letting him go for 17.5k. But it wasn't really about bringing money in. It was more about getting players out who were absolutely shocking. So we can free up spaces and get other players in. And so speaking of the ins. We have got Mato Grudic who is a central defender. 31 years old, four and a half star current and potential ability. And he actually looks decent, doesn't he? He looks like he could do a decent job back in, I don't know, League One maybe? Maybe even Championship in England. And so, yeah, he looks very decent. I'm happy with him. He joins us for two and a half grand a week. And he's on a one-year one, one year deal. Yep, so we'll see how he goes at the end of the season. See if we want to renew that. I'm very happy with that particular deal. And then after him, joining him on the 14th of July is Dia. Nope, I, I didn't bring these ones in, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, I tell a lie. Who was the first one I brought in? There we go. Mohamed Lavi. He is the first one. I know. Oh, I can't quite remember. When did I join the club? When did I join the club? I joined on... My history, job history. Okay, is this going to tell me? Uh, 15th of July. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I did not bring him in, indeed. Let's go back to the transfers. Transfer history. And so, first one I actually brought in. Mohamed Larbi. He is a attacking midfielder, but can play either on the left-hand side or in central midfield. And look at him. Five-star current and potential ability, 31 years old. He can do a little bit of business with his left foot as well. So that's very nice to see. But yeah, he's very much a championship level player, I think you could say. Maybe lower half a championship. But yeah, we got him in on a freebie, I believe. Yes, we did. And how much are we paying him a week? £2,200 a week. So, very happy with that particular deal there. And then following him in is Pratik Chowdhury. And he is a 30-year-old experienced centre-back. Now, see, the ratings here are not that good. But I think he could be okay. And he's going to help us out with the Indian quota after getting rid of so many Indian players. I don't think we're paying him that much. No, we're not. £375 a week. He comes in just to be a backup to be cover for our better players there. And then following him in is Abidyanda Singh. He is a defensive midfielder, but he can again play anywhere pretty much in the middle, even up top at a real push. And he can play right-sided midfield. Again, only one star current or potential ability. At this point, I was really, really struggling because I was thinking, oh my God, Gosh, Indian players are rubbish. But I was just trying to fill up the Indian quota. And so, yeah, he's, he's probably not going to play that much. But he helps with that. And he could be okay if called upon. If absolutely necessary. And then as well, on the same day, we brought in Serge Kevin from Al Itihad. 
And now he looks quite decent. He's going to be a backup for our main two strikers. You may have already seen who I've brought in from the other series. But yep, Serge Kevin with 11 finishing, 12 heading. He's six foot one, got very decent physicals for this level. And so yeah, I'm very happy with him being a backup. And we are only paying him 190 quid a week. So I think that is quite a Brucey bonus. Little decent signing there, I think. And yep, here we go. We have spent 55,000 pounds on the legend that is Adam Marriott. And as you can see down below here, he's played in three friendlies, scored three goals, got one assist and one man of the match. The man is going to be a legend over here. I am sure of it. 13 finishing, 11 anticipation, 12 off the ball, 12 teamwork. We know all about Adam Marriott over here on this particular channel. It's going to be so interesting to see how he does, if he can replicate what he does for Kingsley in this particular series. And last signing, £41,500, Sandes Jinkan, 26-year-old centre-back. He's played 35 times for his country, which is India. And he's got 12 heading, 11 marking, 12 tackling, 17 bravery, 13 jumping reach, 15 pace. And oh, he should be very, very good. And yeah, that is all the transfers done. I have waffled on for about 10 minutes about them. Thank you if you have stuck through all of that. And so, do you want a game of football? I think you do. And this is going to be new and improved. I've got brand new graphics to show you guys. And so, let's go and get into this game of football. Today's game sees Mumbai City host Mohan Bagan in the first game of the season. Mumbai City are the favourites. Can they translate that into what would be a very good three points on the opening day of the season? This is how the team lines up. We've got Singh in goal, both as left-back. Jingen and Grudic are both the centre-backs. Chakraborty is the right back. We've got three in the middle. Borges, Fernandez, and Mercado. And on the left hand side, we've got Diego Carlos. On the right hand side, we've got Daxina Murphy. And up front, it is Adam Marriott making his debut in India. Can he get a couple of goals to get himself off to a very, very good start? And now, here we are in the dressing room. Let's go passionate. Uh, we should be winning this one fairly comfortably. No reaction. Whoops. And a couple were happy there. And I think there's a lot more to come from you. There we go. Now people are happy. Okay. So prediction time. I've got no idea what to predict. We've obviously been told there that we are the favourites. I'm going to go 2-0. Nice, easy, comfortable win for the first game of the season. Come on, Mumbai. Here we go. First highlight of the game. It's us in the white getting the ball after throwing. Diego Carlos plays it forward to Fernandez, to Marriott, to Borges, who just gives it away to sing. As you know what, I'm going to change this camera angle up just a bit. Let's go TV. And let's go summit like, ooh, don't want it quite that high. There we go, that'll do. Dax Sinner Murphy with the ball. He's played it through. Marriott is in. It's a new country and it's a miss there from Adam Marriott. 21 minutes in. Jingen with the ball. Tries to go over the top. Their man Singh heads it away. It goes to Much a Lover. And then Belsia. Belsia? I think that's how it is. With the ball. Goes back to De Silva. To Romario. And he loses it out there but wins it back. Collins. Kalinas with the ball, sorry. Singh has gone past his man. He's into the box. Can he cross it in? He does. Belsia with the header and it's in the back of the net. And oh, we are behind in our first game of the season. 
Josiba Baisia with the goal. A very, very nice header there. We just never got near him. Once Singh was in the box, he did us for an absolute song. And our very nice header, our keeper, was never getting anywhere near that. There we go. That was the only highlights of the first half. We've had four shots apiece, none on target for us. One clear-cut chance, two there, none. We've had 59% of the ball, which is very nice. But we are losing this game of football, rather unfortunately. So let's go team talk. Let's go assertive. And I expect to see much better sewing. A couple, a few are motivated there. Let's see if we can get some more. Come on. And can we get Marriott motivated? I know it's a new country. I know you're probably nervous, mate. But you know where the goal is. It's, it's in the same place no matter what country you're in. So just put the ball in the back of the net, please. For me, mate. First two changes of the game being made here. Armin Chamiti has come on for Diego Carlos on the left-hand side. And Larby has come on for Machado in the middle of the pitch. Hopefully, half an hour left. A little bit more quality on the pitch now. So, hopefully, they can get us the goals we need to turn this game around. Otherwise, we're going to be having a very sad debut. <laughs> Just over 20 minutes left to go. Throw-in has come in from us now. Larby plays the ball and tries to go over the top, but Maria is not onto it. And now De Silva with it for Moen Baggin to Romario. And he goes back to his man, Singh. And Jingen with the ball to Grudic. He's going to go back to his keeper, isn't he? Yes, he is. We have had eight shots with zero on target. Jesus Christ, not good at all. Grudic with the ball. Marriott brings it down, tries to go out wide, and Chamiti is going to get onto this. Can he cross it into the box? Yes, he does. Goes to Daxina Murphy with the shot. He's hit the post, and it's gone out for a throw in. <laughs> Highlights coming thick and fast now. Moen Bagun with the goal kick, and we win it back. Chakraborty. Goes back to Grudic. He tries to go over the top. Borges is in. I think he might be offside. But it doesn't matter as we have lost the ball. Goes back to their keeper. Majinda again. And now what's he going to do? Again he goes long. Can we win the header back? No we can't. Cyrus goes out wide. But we get it. Bows to Borges. And he goes back to his central defender. Jingen. Marriott. Can he flick this on? No he can't. But he does get it back to Larby. To Grudic. He tries to go out wide. Can Chamiti win this penalty? Free kick. Red card. Something. Oh, that might be a red card, actually. Begoy, is he going to send him off? Yes, he is. Come on, boys. Surely we can win this now. 15 minutes just about left to go. Marriott crosses the ball in. Goes to Borges with the header. And it's saved there by Majinda. As we're going to give it one more sow of demand more. Majinda with the ball. He goes long. And now Grudic with it. Goes over the top. And can Marriott win this? No, he can't. Romario back to Glez. And can we win this ball? Yes, we do. Jingen with it. Tries again to go long. I've got sort of passing on. I don't know why these boys are going long. Kalinas is in. Oh, don't let us concede to 10 men. Thankfully, we haven't. Okay, if our team wants to play long ball, we're going to let them. We've gone more direct, but we have also made one more change. Daxina Murphy has come off for Pranyal Bumji? Bumij? Hamid? I don't know. But anyway, that fella has come on. And we've now gone 4-3-3. Hopefully, we can at least get an equaliser to see this game out. Just under 10 minutes remaining. Borges with a free kick. Chermitti with the header. And it's just gone over the bar. 
We are all over these boys. Surely we can get an equaliser sometime soon. There it is. How soon is that? Matto Grudic with a beautiful goal there. What a start from the new signing. Matto Grudic with an awesome volley's goal here. Let's have a look at this on the replay. It got headed away. And Grudic, what a goal. That's a beautiful goal there. Now, can we go and win this? The answer to that, I suspect, is no. Because I think this is going to be the last highlight of the game. So, unless something miraculous happens, this is going to be ending in a draw. Cyrus with the ball to Kimika. And he goes over the top. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I've just gone very attacking. That could be wrong. Thankfully, we've got the ball off their striker. And that... Ends a mad second half. And let's have a look at the match stats. We have had 14 shots to their 7. 4 on target to their 2. 9 off target to their 4. And 58% of the possession to their 42%. And oh, how we didn't win that game at the end, I don't know. All the stats say we should have won that game. So we played all right. I'm very comfortable with how we played. But yeah, a 1-1 draw. Not the worst result ever. We played well, so we will move on. Let's go team talk. Let's go... Uh, it's passionate. What a comeback that was. Try and get the morale up. Try and get the players on side with me. And that hasn't worked. Whoops! Uh, what do I say to what do I say to fix this? Oh no! Oh no! Bad jokes! What have you done? You just upset them all. Oh, that's not good. Let, let's end the team talk and run away and get back home very, very quickly. Oh, whoops! Ah, <laughs> oh. and all right then, guys. At the end of the first game. We find ourselves 8th in the table. Most games were drawn, it looks like. So, a decent -ish start. And that is where we are going to leave it for today. Actually, let's see when we're going to come back. I want to try and get a few games done now. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'll, I will get the next three done in the league for Mumbai. And then the next episode will be the World Cup qualifier against Cambodia for India. So that will be Sunday's episode, either Sunday or Monday, depending on what day I can get it out. And so, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content, not just this series, but also the Kingsland Walks to Prem Save as well check that out follow me on twitter at bad jokes gaming and as well as that check out the passion for fm discord the twitter the facebook the website especially the website the website is very 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 good check that out and as well as that check out all the other passion for fm content creators they are all very very good guys either here on youtube or on twitch so please do check all them out. I think I've got all their links down below in the info. If I haven't, let me know. And yep, guys, that is going to be it for today. I shall see you later. Arrivederci.